Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to restore a GoDaddy website in 2024. So today we're going to learn how to restore a GoDaddy website. Whether you accidentally deleted the content or need to revert to a previous version, this guide will walk you through the steps to restore your sites using GoDaddy tools. So make sure to follow this guide step by step and make sure to stick by let's dive right into this video and basically let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and log into your godaddy account to do so go and open a browser here i'm using brave for you you can use whatever you want once you open that browser basically just go to this url section here make sure to type godaddy.com hit the enter button once you do so you'll find yourself on the home screen or main screen once you find yourself here, of course, if it's your first time, you'll find you'll assign an option here instead of your name. Click on it so you'll be able to sign in with your account if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, you'll be able to go and create a new account. Of course, if you already logged in, you'll find yourself here. So we would like to navigate to the website builder right away. So go here to websites and click on that. Then click on websites builder. Once you do so, click on start for free. And here, once you do so, you'll be taken here. So as you can see, for me, I have here three shops or uh, three websites that I can show you from. Of course, you can go and create a new site for me. I'll just go to one of those sites and access the settings of it by just simply clicking on it, and I'll be able to go. Well, I'll try to go and access the site editor uh, for it or the website builder. So all I need to do, as you can see here on the dashboard, I'll be able to check everything about it in here. But all I need to do for me, I'll just go here and click on edit websites on this left panel or right panel. Sorry. Once I do so, I'll find myself here myself here on the website. So what I'll need to do, simply go to the top right corner, settings option, click on that. Once you do so, you'll need to go to site profile, scroll into site history, click on that. And as you can see, here you will have access to the backup and restore option. So normally this backup is being created like automatically. But of course, for me, I created here a backup or restore point. Uh, and I name it like backup to restore to it uh, whenever I want, as an example. So if you want to, as an example, restore your GoDaddy website. So as an example, let's say, let me just go back here to websites. Ah, oh, no, no, I make some changes here. So let me just go, as an example, and delete this section. So click on this section, delete it. Or I'll just go and delete that, all of it. And I'll delete this section also and i'll just go here and what should i do so let me just go to websites here maybe this delete this page as an example maybe even delete the home page okay so i cannot delete the home page because it's only page so i'll even delete this page as an example and let me just go here click on that uh, remove this section as an example and remove this section as an example so let's say I made here some changes. Now, I regret maybe my changes. And as you can see, okay, I cannot find what I want. So how can I restore my GoDaddy website? All I need to do, as we said before, go to the top right corner, click on settings, click on site history in their site profile. And here, as you can see, or as I said, they create the restore point automatically after you made any changes. But for me, since the last one before I start, uh, like deleting pages and etc. The last one is this. So all I need to do is simply click on restore right here. And as you can see, restore is completed. So the website is loading and it will come back, as you can see, to the initial point of it. Of course, you can create your own uh, restore points. If you go to site history and click on create a backup and you'll be able to create a new one. And as you can see, it's created and you can simply go here and give it a name. So you'll be able to remember that specifically. As an example here, uh, if you want to even have more deviations of your website's example, maybe uh, you'll type here like websites. Uh, I don't know, maybe website one or try one or something like that and keep it here as a restore point. And of course, you will be able to make your changes. And if you like this more, you can always come back to it and click on restore. And if you want to delete any of those backup points you'll be able to simply click on the uh, three dots and click on delete, then click on delete and it will be deleted right away. So now 
you'll be able to publish your store whenever you restore it and you'll be good to go. So there you have it. You successfully restored your GoDaddy websites regularly, backing up your sites and knowing how to restore it can save you a lot of time and hassle in event of an issue. So stay tuned for more tutorial. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video. So goodbye.